thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, we're going to be working on a, a new coloring page. Um, this is going to be a little different. Uh, I'm actually showing you... So as you notice, um, you can hear my voice. Um, we're going to be... I did this after the fact. I drew out the painting or drawing and um, just recording it. A little easier this way sometimes. So right now I'm drawing a underwater scene. So right now I'm drawing the lobster. Kind of hard to make out right now a little bit. Uh, just drawing the, yeah, the eyes and the, uh, the claws and the body. So, so remember I'm going to be drawing the foreground, middle ground, and background. Always important to... Uh, Man, a little, little extra help when you're drawing some coloring pages. Um, so thank you. It's been a little while since I've uh, started this. Um, started the new YouTube channel a few months ago, and uh, about two months actually. So and actually is a way of getting people to um, do something creative, and then it sort of branched out to other things. If you noticed, if you've been following my channels and. And I want to just say thank you to anybody who's uh, who's been keeping up with um, my art there. I enjoy doing artwork, and uh, and if I have a way to record it and uh, to journey to see our progress here, um, I'm drawing a starfish right here. But uh, later on, you may notice I don't keep it there. <laughs> yeah, he's a a lot bigger. Probably would have worked out if he was right in the foreground. That's another sense of perspective too. You could do that too. But um, so I'm just drawing out the uh, kind of showing you right there where the uh, that's the foreground, very important part of the drawing. And then right here, I'm drawing a crab. So it's kind of an oblong shape, uh, think of a football. It's kind of drawing the crab and the uh, claws there. Now if you notice, um, <laughs> I did something kind of fun, but it, uh, I took some pictures of it apparently, but I'm not sure what I, if I ever kept it on my, I have to find them somewhere in the archives of my phone or memory card. Uh, I think I took some pictures, I Gosh, I'm thinking about maybe six or seven years ago. We bought some crab uh, fresh from the grocery store, and uh, I took some pictures of it <laughs> to kind of give reference of what the crab looked like. So I never actually did any watercolor paintings of it yet. Um, I'm sure I have it somewhere. I just... Uh, it's a neat thing about memory cards and stuff like that. You can always keep your stuff on there, and then you kind of go back to it years later, and you go, wow, how did I end up doing that? So you might notice right here I'm drawing a octopi, um, kind of showing the kind of round head. So this is, again, this is very fictional, very cartoony. I'm giving it kind of a bubble eyes, um, kind of a sleepy look. Now, if you notice, there is a, it's kind of hard to notice because I was, um, I changed the, sh the, where I have direction of the eyes because I notice when I'm drawing it, I, it's almost looking down at the uh, lobster. And I did not want it to be, look like it's, uh, like that was going to be his next dinner or something like that. Because I wanted to kind of have this octopus kind of like just in the, in the middle ground there, just kind of relaxing. And, and so right now I'm drawing his uh, tentacles or legs, tentacles. So you might notice my uh, kind of looks like I'm trying to keep track of how many legs I put on there. So this is a little bit tricky. So again, th this is maybe a little bit advanced for anybody that's uh, going into drawing, but. Uh, Apologize for the camera being a little shaky. Uh, 
I have a little better setup than I had uh, before, but uh, I think I was pointing there to show you what, I, what direction I'm going to go in with the uh, tentacles. So you will notice that later on when I draw the piece with a pen, that is, is um, tentacles are going above over a rock. So that kind of gives that kind of... So the whole octopi is a little advertisement right there. <laughs> Sorry, uh, just happened to come across one of my business cards there. I was looking at it as a it's kind of funny how things get in my way there. <laughs> so it's kind of like you're always welcome to visit my web page. I will. I put that on my. Uh, I usually put that on the, I've been trying to anyway, put it on my, the subject uh, to describe the videos. So, okay, I'm just drawing the, just drawing the tentacles there. This is kind of nice, actually, coming back to it again, because sometimes I'm really into drawing the... Like before, I was drawing the painting, and then sometimes you'll have outside noises, or um, certain things will happen when you're recording, and uh, it's kind of nice to do it this way. So again, it's a little bit harder to kind of make out what I'm doing there, but it's... Uh, was drawing some rocks uh, again. I'm kind of correcting some. Like I said, that's where I was telling you about the eyes. I uh, I didn't want the eyes to look. Um, so he's kind of looking off in the distance. He's kind of looking towards. Um, I'm gonna add something pretty soon, but uh, I don't kind of make that a surprise <laughs> for those who are watching. Well, here it goes. I am drawing a submarine. Uh, didn't exactly want to go for a military submarine. I was kind of going for a, yeah, kind of a, um, depends on what color you guys want to draw it <laughs> without saying uh, the actual, but uh, it's kind of going for one of those kind of, kind of a private submarine or something like that, you know, that somebody owns. And again, it's kind of fictional, just out of my head, but uh, just kind of fun. So, as you can tell, it might look sort of like an actual military submarine there, but when I start drawing the little uh, the, the windows there, it's what as you might see that I'm actually directing, showing you, you draw a line from there to there, and then you add a little curve to it. So see how I curved it? That'll give um, give a little sense of depth there, like a little roundness, because otherwise it'll look flat. So, and those are little tricks to the trade of um, being an artist that you can uh, make something look kind of 3D and that makes it look good. You just put the little cockpit and windows there. So there you go. And uh, so I'm just. <clears throat> Sorry, my terminology for these uh, submarines are not. Uh, <laughs> I honestly, I've been drawing these things for for a very long time. Actually, I. One of my first few paint, uh, and as I've been drawing these underwater scenes since I was about ninth grade, and it really turns out that uh, in eighth, seventh, eighth grade, seventh grade wasn't my most favorite part of my year, but uh, that's when I started learning and started figuring out. Uh, you know, you learned a lot from the teacher, and especially eighth grade. 
about the middle of it, he really pushed us to learn a lot of things and textures and details. And didn't like it at first, but then after a while, something just kind of clicked, you know, and I, I got it. You know, it's like amazing. I, I guess, um, so right here I'm drawing a shark. Again, I apologize if, um, if uh, my, it's kind of my own version of a shark, so. <laughs> But he's kind of swimming. The whole whole the whole thing is like here's a the foreground, you know, where you have the crab, the lobster, the octopus, and then the the sharks kind of like swimming in the background. And then in the middle ground would be the submarine there. But the submarine could look like it's starting to go towards, you know, in the direction of the where the octopus is at. So. Yeah, our ninth grade teacher, she, I think the other kids, uh, students, I should say, not kids, but we were kids back then. She uh, wanted us to do these different scenes, different pictures, and uh, uh, be creative and just draw, you know. So I did an underwater scene. I think I did a, um, oh my gosh, I did a number of things. I think I went a little bit more than everybody else did. And I don't, I don't know if they were actually, <laughs> I just took it and enjoyed it. I, I went like, anyway, I did an underwater scene. It was one of my funnest ones I did. Uh, I did it obviously with pencil and I used a color, color pencil and marker and I actually laminated it, so it held up for a while and did not know where that is. It's been almost like over 30 years ago, actually, <laughs> since I since I had that doing that drawing. But I had a lot of fun. I, I just did a lot of fun. And, that's the whole purpose of art. It's fun. If you if you enjoy it, just um, I'm hopefully encouraging you to step out of your um, uh, what's, what's the term I'm thinking of stepping out of your comfort zone. Yeah, and try to draw. So I'm going to go over these and outline them with pencil, so you get a better I mean pen, so you get a better idea of what I'm drawing here. So I'm kind of doing a little mountain range in the back. See all these little details are kind of uh, yeah, not exactly necessary for the piece, but these are fun little things to add. So, And again, if it's in your own coloring page and you can do whatever you like with it and you can change it up. If you wanted to make that an old sailing ship that's sunk in the ground or whatever. So anyway, uh, you may notice I'm doing a little like a, a luxury liner that may have uh, sunk in the ocean. This is obviously not the Titanic, but just some other kind of thing off in the background. So Just kind of straighten up the camera there a little bit. <laughs> So I'm going for my uh, <clears throat> my pen. Again, I like to use kind of a... This, if you can find a fine tip pen available, almost like a marker. Not quite a marker, this is almost like a ballpoint pen or something like that. Um, you know, I you know, right now we can't exactly go to the store and uh, get those pretty easily. You can get them at a regular grocery store, but uh, please be cautious if you... Um, I would just encourage you to use whatever you have at home if you want to do that. Just uh, If you want to outline this with a crayon or color pencil, that's fine too. So just drawing those eyes, filling in the shape of the, uh, the body of the octopi. 
So there you go. I know this is one of my longer videos. I am used to kind of doing with the music incorporated it and figured out time lapse, uh, which was pretty amazing actually, how amazing how I could do that. I really wasn't a fan or didn't know how important it was until I started recording an actual watercolor painting and uh, it took a long time. <laughs> so the time lapse, it uh, can take put something you draw take a few hours and makes it only until like a minute or two or actually less than a minute so so again I'm just filling in the space that I've already drew out and this is typically how I used to do the coloring pages at work you're kind of just seeing the whole process of what uh, I do this is a little time consuming. That's why with my previously previous coloring sheets, I just kind of did um, without doing pencil. I just uh, drew out the coloring, the lines. So, and again, uh, this is a little bit more complicated if um, you're not used to drawing something like this. But yeah, give it a, give it a try. You know, that's uh, all you can do, and uh, no one's gonna think any less of you if you mess up or anything. You can always erase it or correct it or, you know, honestly, it's the neatest thing I used to see when I was uh, working and seeing kids uh, hang up the coloring pages uh, with some of the things that the kids did. You know, they used to add little, little drawings to the coloring pages. Some were pretty creative, you know, a lot of times they weren't very detailed, but there was, you can just tell, there was a spark of creativity. There was that, they had that sense of, um, you know, they were, they were doing it already, you know, and it's amazing. And the kids just need a little outlet for it, so. And, you know, art is um, relaxing and enjoyable especially at this time because you know, we're all going through different emotions, we're all going through different things through this uh, whole event being staying at home or you know, things are starting to get back to normal or whatever again, but it's never really going to get to the full normal. And uh, I, I just find for me it's very relaxing to do some artwork, some drawings, uh, Kind of calms your nerves a little bit. Kind of gives you a perspective. Kind of makes you feel like, well, when everything else is kind of going a little out of control, things you can't control in life, you can control what you're doing on this paper. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes uh, your hand starts going, where, where did that come from? But, uh, you know, sometimes that's those little mistakes. That is what, that's what makes the painting or the drawing. And again, if this is something for your own, your own, uh, something for your own home or house, or just you're just drawing it for fun, you shouldn't have any pressure on that. So just do whatever you like to draw. Just kind of giving you an idea, giving you inspiration, getting you kind of get you started. <laughs> if you, you like it and you're drawing, you can start drawing your own. Um, study, um, observe things when you're out in nature or at home. Do a little practice drawings, sketch, doodle. Doodles are fun. As long as you don't do them on your homework page, which I did. <laughs> And I got uh, called out on it, believe it or not. And uh, boy, I did not do that afterwards. So just giving you a little warning, especially if you uh, go into high school. <laughs> Don't do that. 
doodle on a separate page or something like that. But uh, so I took my art just a little bit too far, you know. In some ways, uh, yeah, the teacher wasn't too happy with that. Sorry, a little information. There. <laughs> Uh, just giving you a little forewarning. Just uh, be careful, please. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I just love drawing. Um, sometimes when I'm on the phone with something or have to call and wait a little while, I was like, okay, this is a great opportunity to doodle. That's what I do. And uh, I'm more of my heart is in it with the watercolor painting because I I love to do watercolor. But um, I love to just come back to doing sketches and drawings and a little pen and ink there. I just don't have the patience for... Um, it's funny, though, I say that, <laughs> because uh, watercolor does take a lot of patience. But uh, anyway, I, I would like to do more of these paintings, uh, drawings. And also, I for you, those who are following, I had an idea of um, doing something that would be fun is to take on something that, uh, to do a drawing that uh, maybe you're painting and you can join me of something very challenging. And uh, you know, if I mess up, I mess up, but then it's a journey. You're just like, uh, follow me as I go into the unknown. <laughs> so that might be a little idea for a project uh, I like to do. And uh, just, you know, you get to see my frustration. Not in my face, of course, but, you know, just just in... I might do, like, a commentary like this instead of doing it just music. So, I'm just about done with this piece. Um, I'm just erasing the lines here. Again, thank you for joining me, actually. i kind of sad that it's coming to an end, actually. <laughs> I kind of enjoy talking to you and uh, hope you like listening to me. Hopefully I wasn't uh, too loud or something, you know. So again, here it is, the underwater seascape. I hope you enjoy this and um, yeah, I just encourage you to draw it and just um, yeah, have some fun. So again, I'm just erasing lines after the pencil, so it kind of gives that. And now it's, uh, it's yours to color. You can do that. It's amazing. Now, if it doesn't look quite like that or it looks a little bit different, don't worry about it. The funnest thing is you attempt it and you try, and you're going to do it. Thank you for joining me, and have a good night.